Walking inside Pacific Place, it may appear to be half vacant, but there are nearly two dozen stores open inside. Lululemon is closing later this month on April 21st, and business owners inside Pacific Place tell me they're continuing to see foot traffic increase, which is keeping business moving in the right direction. The line stretched around the block to be the first one inside to see Seattle's newest addition. When Pacific Place opened in 1998, it was packed. It's phenomenal. It's a great place for Seattle. This is a project that's built for many years, the last decades. And now 25 years later, a lot has changed. It was empty. Mm -hmm. Uh, quiet too. I don't know. I think of mall. I don't know. I'm a 90s baby, so I think of a mall, and I'm just imagining people everywhere, lots of activity, and it didn't. It, it doesn't look like that. It was just quiet. That's what we thought we were in the wrong place. Alejandra and Diana are visiting Seattle from Chicago. They weren't surprised to hear Lululemon is closing. And it's not surprising because I feel like so many more people are shopping online. Across the country, experts have seen many urban shopping centers struggle, and most say the common factor is closing stores and less foot traffic. Owners of Proto 101 and the Handmade Showroom, another store in the mall, say their businesses are growing. The Downtown Business Association also has a positive perspective. In a statement to King 5, many of the revitalization metrics we're tracking are headed in the right direction, including returning visitors, workers, and what is now a record downtown residential population. And the Seattle Office of Economic Development says it's seeing the same trends. 